everyone, welcome to another episode of Chatterbox with Uju. My name is Ujanobi and this is my vlog. I'm getting ready to go to a Two Face concert. Obi and I and my friends will have like this concert today, so we're just getting dressed now. And I just thought I should film a short video on something that I feel has become very rampant. I would say in Nigeria, but as Precious would say, it has become rampant globally. So let's go with globally. I feel like it's something that either happened to someone or you personally you have done it to someone else and I just feel like I should shed light on it so what are we talking about guys ghosting now for those of you who don't know ghosting is a situation whereby you are talking to someone and the vibe is going great everything is going smooth and all of a sudden poof, the person just disappears off the surface of the earth who does that right I know so it actually happened to someone that I know about and I'm like what's going on and everybody's like oh it's called ghosting and I'm like why would anybody want to do that to someone so from what I understand by ghosting things are actually going well between you and the person the vibe is great you guys are chatting always you guys are texting you guys are calling like you know that person you're chatting back to back with and the person just stops replying and you're wondering what happened Girl, he just ghosted on you. Apparently, that's a thing. So, my problem is not even with ghosting now. What I really want to talk about is the emotions or the phases that follow a person after they have been ghosted. Now, let me say something. Ghosting actually says more about the ghoster than the ghosty. <laughs> So don't feel bad if you are ghosted because trust me, it's not you, it's him. So there are four phases I feel like a person experiences when they have been ghosted. Now we have the confused phase, we have the sad phase, we have the condemnation phase and we have the self-realization. So I'm going to start with confused. Now this is when the person just ghosts you. You are genuinely confused because you're wondering, oh, this is somebody that I was talking to and we're literally making like dinner plans and you just realize that he's not replying to your messages again and you're like, dude, where are you at? So in this phase, you are like texting him and calling him. You don't know yet that you've been ghosted though. <laughs> so you are texting, you are calling and you'll be asking your friends like, oh my God, I hope he didn't have an accident. Oh my God, did he die? Did he just fall off the surface of the earth? Did he get kidnapped? Like, <laughs> I legit, everything runs through your mind. Like my friend was going crazy. Like at the point where like, you guys, I I think he's dead. Should we call like the police? Like, what should we do? Like, we can't find him. Like, how is it possible that you are literally chatting with someone saying, Oh, yeah, so um, I'm about going to bed, so I'll see you tomorrow. Then tomorrow, you're messaging the person, like, Hey, what's up? Where are you? They're not replying. Hey, what's up? How are you doing? They're not replying. You're yeah, calling, they're not picky. <laughs> Like it's, it's actually it's confusing. So this is the first phase of being ghosted. You are genuinely confused wondering what happened to the person. Now the second phase is when you are sad. Now probably in this phase your friends have seen him online. He has posted on social media. They've even seen him at a bar or somewhere. So now you are sad thinking how horrible can I possibly be that someone would do this to me? Like why would someone do this to me so you are genuinely sad and you're feeling depressed and you know you are just feeling like i can't be that bad like it's not possible that someone would do this to me this is a very very sad and depressed phase and this is the phase where you can lose yourself now after being sad you move on to the condemnation phase now this is the phase where you blame yourself you start to judge your characters you start to judge your behavior you start to judge your flaws and you're wondering oh my god am i really that bad is this something i said and in this phase you go over your text messages you go over your conversations wondering okay was it when i said this was it when i said that oh my god maybe i was a bit harsh maybe i wasn't as forthcoming as he thought i would be like what did i possibly do that this person can do this to me and you start to question your behavior your character your flaws and let me say something flaws are not bad if someone cannot love you for your flaw or if somebody cannot love you despite your flaw then they are not meant for you so don't even try and kill yourself like oh maybe i should be more um forthcoming oh maybe i'm not as badass as he thought i was or maybe i'm not a certain way and i should be that way no girl it's not you it's him like i said at the beginning ghosting says more about the ghost star than the ghosty so it is not you it is him so when you are in this phase and you're condemning condemning yourself for what you don't even know you did in the first place you should just totally remember that uju said 
it's him not you so after the condemnation phase where you're beating yourself up you feel like your world is coming to an end and you just feel like maybe okay next time i will do this this way i will do that that way just know that you are moving up to the next phase which is the self-realization now if you are watching this video and you've been ghosted recently and you are currently in stage three please sister move up to stage four self-realization this is the phase where you realize that you are a bad ass eh? this is the phase where you realize that he missed out on something this is the freaking phase where you realize that you are a rainbow and he was color blind the ah! <laughs> you guys have to check out my instagram post on that caption <laughs> oh my god i'm totally loving this vlog today this is the phase where you realize that you are 10 over 10 and it ends shit anyways guys self-realization this is the phase where you are like you know what i'm not that bad i'm badass people like me people want me i am a catch <laughs> he doesn't know i'm a catch <laughs> oh my god i miss talking to you guys like this is the phase where you realize that it's actually not you it's him and he's just a terrible person because i feel like if i'm talking to someone and i'm actually feeling the vibe with the person i wouldn't just cut the person off i feel like it's if I'm not feeling the vibe and the person will know you're not feeling the vibe because from reception you're not answering the person so the person will understand and take his L and go but if we are chatting back and forth and you just stop chatting I'm not going to think I'm the problem if you don't come out to me and tell me this is what you did or this is um, this is not what I'm looking for then I will just take it as you are the problem ladies 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 please you need to self realize yourself <laughs> to realize that he's the problem and not you I just feel like ghosting is something that has just I feel like people think it's cool like it's cool to ghost and it's a different thing if you feel like okay she's not your spec or she's not what you thought she was then you just let her know calmly i don't know maybe because me i'm a very straightforward person i don't know how people are but me i'll let you know if i'm not feeling the vibe like oh sorry i'm not interested like i'm sorry i'm just not interested i won't just disappear like fall off the surface of the earth literally i don't know this 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 topic is really annoying as i'm even talking about it because i'm like why would anybody want to do that any nigga that goes to me <laughs> my father my father <laughs> i will take you to church or sunday tomorrow is sunday i will take you to church or sunday i don't know ladies please if you are in a phase any of the phases i talked about the confusion state the sad phase the condemnation phase or the self-realization please just know that nothing is wrong with you he is the one with the problem and he missed out on a goodie bag he's lost no yours all right guys this is chatterbox with uju my name is uju anobi and this is my vlog don't forget to follow me on snapchat instagram and twitter at ms underscore uju it's your girl sign out and i'll see you next sunday with your sunday love medicine Obviously, the game is as important as my phone.